tonsils. Excuse me? I'll take him out right now. Could make all the difference in the world. George, what's wrong? Boys. Yeah. People forget their troubles when they go to the pictures. They come out, and it's back to putting food on the table. Okay. No one wants ice cream, right? No, I want some ice cream. Let's go home. Ice cream for everybody. Oh, yeah, for ice cream. Oh, yes, when it's ice cream. Oh, yeah, yeah, vanilla for the boys. Say, this little girl of yours, she's the one in the movie, right? Yes, this is Shirley. Do you like the picture, mister? I thought you were a great kid, but the movie was corny. You should be in real pictures. I would love that. I couldn't take my eyes off her. She really shines on that screen. Thank you. I appreciate your saying so. Darling, I, I, now can we get... Hey, I bought that for you. I'm sorry. She was hungry. That's all right, sweetheart. It, you didn't do anything wrong. Names are hard. That's a two-cent ice cream. I'm sorry. Uh, the name's Gorney. Jay Gorney. I'd like to audition her at Fox. I beg your pardon? Fox the movie studio? Yeah, I'm the music producer. Bring her in tomorrow, 9 a.m. <laughs> Honey, I know you hate this, but we have to curl your hair, otherwise it will frizz. But do I have to have so many? You had 56 pin curls when you were picked for the baby burlesque. You've had 56 pin curls in every picture since. Not one more, not one less. And you know why? That's how many it takes to make you look your best. And you should always look your best in pictures. People have a right to expect you to look your best. I need more pins. Don't you move. <laughs> Where's Shirley? <laughs> Shirley? Shirley, where'd you go? Here I am. <laughs> there you are. Darling. You are a professional actress now. You know what that means? It means that you have to concentrate very hard on your work. And I know it's hard to remember that sometimes. So we are going to have a secret code word, you and me. All right? 
When I say Shirley Sparkle, that means for you to concentrate with all your might on your work. Understand? I understand, Mommy. Now can I please have my sleeve? <laughs> yes. Thanks. Just a few more curls. Here we go. Just a few more. Oh, are you okay? Let me see. I'm fine. It just hurt a bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm, let's see. Now you're going to have 56 pin curls and one spit curl. Now you can forget all about it. And sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi, dear. You sure are, kids. So what do you say? You ready to strut your stuff? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Yours are old. They'll tear up the floor. Trade. Thank you, Mr. Gordon. Can she dance? Start slow and take it as far as you can. Okay, kid. Can you do that? Where did you learn to dance like that? My mommy. She was a dancer before she met me. She studied at Mrs. Meglin's famous Kitty's dance studio. Can you sing as good as you dance? You bet. How about you leave Shirley with us? Mr. Sheehan wants to talk to you. I'm prepared to offer her 150 a week for one year. And 25 for you. That's to cover hair and babysitting her at the studio. $175 a week? We treat our talent right. It's a long shot, but you never know until you put them in a picture. With the usual seven-year option, just in case your daughter's the next Mary Pickford. Do you need time to think about it? <laughs> Welcome to Fox. How old did you say she is? Five. We'll get you a new birth certificate. She's four. Every year counts with a kitty actress. Oh, and one other thing. No Meglin school. No training, no lessons, nothing. We sell her as a natural. I don't think anybody's going to believe that she's untrained. <laughs> You'd be amazed what people believe. Leave it to our publicity department. Oh. Banana split. <laughs> Here's to Shirley. Sweetheart, turn around, honey. We're having a toast. Hi. Cheers to Shirley. Cheers. We have to wear a diaper costume, like in the baby burlesques. No. Do you have to kiss any boys? No, this is a real movie with grown-ups. I get to dance by myself. Really? Ah. 175 a week. A bank teller doesn't make that in six months. We can get a bigger house, a new car. Honey, this is a celebration. Let's let's talk about money later, okay? I didn't order another bottle. Compliments of Mr. Hall, the director. Alexander Hall. Pleasure. I saw you in the Frolics of Youth pictures. You were very good. Thank you. I'm directing a picture for Paramount called Little Miss Marker. I wonder if you'd let your daughter audition for the title role. Sure, what time? Uh, Mr. Hall, uh, Say 9.30 a.m. tomorrow morning. That's when I start at Fox. Okay, 7.30. Is that too early? That's fine. We'll be there. Good evening, Mr. Corning. Great, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, I've marked the audition scenes. We have a contract at Fox. She's exclusive. Nice. Children, eat. What's the harm in auditioning? She could get the part. So we'll ask Mr. Sheehan for his permission. It's a title role, George. <laughs> One, two, three.
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good girl. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Smile. That's it. Yes. That's it. Enjoy your dinner at the Brown Derby, Mrs. Temple. Mr. Sheehan wants to see you in his office. Stamp. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and stamp. And stamp. One, two, three, four, five. Good girl. Yes. Head up. Head up. I got a call from Adolf Zucker at Paramount. Ben Schulberg wants Shirley for their Damon Runyon picture, Little Miss Marker. He does? I, I told Shirley we would need your permission if she were offered the role. I had to let her audition, Mr. Sheehan. She was so excited. A title role. Of course, we understand if you say no. Well, a good businessman would say no, but I'm going to say yes. Do you know why? Because it's the best kid role in years, and Shirley is perfect for it. The studio is a family. Families only want what's best for their kids. I don't know how to thank you. Shirley will be so happy. I'll see to it that that thief Zucker pays Shirley her full contracted salary the whole time she's over there, not a penny less. That is very good of you. If so, we understand each other. We're family. You don't do anything behind my back again. Of course not. I'm sorry. She'll go on loan out to Paramount right after Stand Up and Cheer. Thank you. Some cream? A little. Please? That was excellent. Can't we do it one more time? Oh, I think our usual three times is enough. It's a very good picture, isn't it, Mommy? It's very funny. Guess what I just heard on the radio? What, Daddy? Amelia Earhart is going to fly across the Pacific Ocean. And after that, around the world. I'd like to fly around the world one day. That wouldn't surprise me. Good night, my little Miss Marker. Good night, Daddy. Say it like that. No thank you, Bangles. What for? You used to say thank you. I used to be a sis. Where did you get that? Ain't telling. Don't want no much. Take it away. Scram. Don't you like me anymore? Well... You used to like me when I was Lady Guinevere. There's no Lady Guinevere. Yes, there is. Just like there's a charger. There's no charger. But you saw him. They took him away. Well, maybe they might bring him back. Well, maybe I will stand for some mush. Thank you. Print it. Hey, guys, very nice. Moving on. Save your All righty. That was wonderful, Miss Sherwin. You're wonderful, Miss Dell. Oh, I could just eat you up with a spoon. <laughs> you were fabulous. This child frightens me. If scene stealing were a crime, she'd get a life. Scenes? She's stealing the picture, Adolf. You should get down on your knees and thank her. She's going to make this a hit. Be smart. Do like me and get on our good side. She's Ethel Barrymore at four. I think we can do it with a couple of slides up on top of it. I just came down to see what Mr. Schulberg's getting for a thousand dollars a week. He's getting his money's worth, I believe. Very nice work, young lady. Thank you. Mrs. Temple. Oh, my. Is everything okay? What did Zucker say? That was him? That was Zucker? He said, very nice work, young lady. The man who runs Paramount just gave you a compliment. He only gives three compliments a decade. Is that all for the day, Mr. Holmes? Oh, yes, it is. But only because we have one take tempo in the lead. Bright and early, Shirley. On the ball, Mr. Hall. <laughs> Could you hold this for me, darling? What's the matter, Mommy? Nothing. My stomach is a bit upset. There is my essence of peppermint. In her latest radio message, Miss Earhart reports that her airplane is functioning beautifully. She also answered a burning question from thousands of her fans around the world. Mm. What is she eating in that tiny cabin day after day? Hot soup!
<laughs> Amelia Earhart, only woman to fly the Atlantic. Look at me, I'm Amelia Earhart. Stop it. She's taking this plane to Hawaii by Children, eat your dinner. And a hop back to California is what America's leading woman pilot is reported planning. But bums the word, it's a... <laughs> Let it go, let it go. We're still getting our 175 a week. It's not about the money. Mr. Sheehan made a whole speech about family and, and doing what's right for Shirley. When the truth is, he has sold her. He's making a profit from her. He has her under contract. He didn't do anything illegal. Just underhanded. We can't trust these people. We have to remember that. Okay. and completely captivating. Remarkable brightness of feature. Vivacity of spirit. They love her. Looks like we launched a rocket for Sheehan. Sheehan's a greedy fool. She'll slip through his fingers. Tonight's presentation on ABC. So now, let's get down to business. I'll give you 50000 for her contract. I'd have to be crazy, Zucker. Uh, don't give me that act, Sheehan. I know you are two quarters away from bankruptcy. Chase Bank is ready to take control away from you. So what's one kitty act? Of? This particular kitty is going to be worth a whole lot more than 50000 Adolf. Thanks to you doing me a favor and putting her in a hit. And paying me a thousand a week for a chopper. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh while you can, she. <laughs> You're little Shirley's dad. Indeed, I am. Oh. What? <laughs> oh, Mr. Temple, go on, hey. wonderful. Uh, yeah. Come on, Alice. No. Go That's all. That's just fine. Now, remember what we discussed here. Remember me, Mr. Temple? I opened an account just yesterday. Of course, uh, Mrs. Pellucci. Pellucci. And this is my girl, Carlotta. Not as cute as Shirley, of course. Hello, Carlotta. What should I do to get her in the movies? How did you do it for Shirley? Shirley and her mother would be the ones to ask. All I did was have my tonsils out. Oh, I see. Well, congratulations. Why, thank you. Dorothy told the witch all her story. How the cyclone had brought her to the land of Oz. How she had found her companions and of the wonderful adventures they had met with. I'd like to meet Dorothy. Here comes the vinegar rings. My greatest wish now, she added, is to get back to Kansas. For Aunt Em will surely think something dreadful has happened to me. Not as dreadful as vinegar rinse. <laughs> well, someday Dorothy will have her own vinegar rinse when you play her in the movie. Close your eyes. One hour, six minutes later, in she roars from the misty Pacific sky to set her higher wind monoplane down at Oakland Airport relieving the anxiety of thousands who await her. 18 hours and 16 minutes after leaving Honolulu, Amelia Earhart Putnam hears a California crowd shout her praises. Very tired but very happy, she smiles on the welcoming mob and modestly talks of her adventures. Meanwhile, across the Atlantic, a show of military might. As tanks roll through the streets of Berlin, massive crowds gather to honor their Fuhrer, Adolf Hitler, on his 38th birthday. As he steps onto his balcony, an emotionally charged mob goes wild, hoping to catch a glimpse of their leader. Bruce. 
reviews are glowing. It's, it's fantastic. But how long can it last? Let's get the best writers for it, the best composers, the best lyricists of children's songs, the best choreographers. Are you getting my drift? I think so. It's going to cost. Later. In this business, you watch your asset or it's grabbed. Thank you. You want to be in my police force, Charlie? Sure. Mm -hmm. OK, I'll get you a batch. Hi, Mr. Sheen. Hi, Mr. Gordy. Good afternoon, Shirley. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Shirley. Come on Look here, at her. Sweetie. The kid eats too much. She has a sweet tooth, Mr. Sheehan. Oh, you betcha. Oh, me too. And I don't want her mixing with the riffraff. I gotta get going now. Hey, boss, be careful. Oh. oh, my goodness. Piggy. Best bungalow on the lot. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Bedroom, bathroom, <gasps> playroom, oh, a backyard, me. and a picket fence. Just for you. Even some of the chairs are my size. What's going to happen when I grow? Don't grow. That's an order. This is your teacher, Clammy. She'll do your lessons with you. Hi, Shirley. It's nice to meet you. Hi. Hello, Clemmy. This is Temple. Mr. Sheehan, this is beautiful. And so generous, isn't it, Shirley? Yes, Mr. Sheehan. Thank you. This is where she stays until called for filming a rehearsal. No roaming around the lot. I don't want her spoiled by too much attention. Well, we should begin your lessons. I guess so. Shirley. I think you're such a good actress. Do you enjoy being in the movies? Yes, but when I grow up, I'm going to be a pilot like Amelia Earhart. She's my hero. I think that she's incredible. Me too. I have an idea. Why don't we use her flight as a way to study geography and history? Like going around the world with her. Exactly. I have an idea. Let's get a map. depends, of course, upon the cooperation of the public, on its intelligent support. After all, there is an element in the readjustment of our financial system that is more important than currency, more important than gold, and that is the confidence of the people themselves. Confidence and courage are the essentials of success. When the spirit of the people is lower than at any other time during this depression, it is a splendid thing that for just 15 cents, an American can go to a movie and look at the smiling face of a baby and forget hey. his troubles. Huh? You people must have faith. You must not He's be talking about you, Shirley. The President of the United States. What does he mean? We have provided the... He is saying that you make people happy. All over America, all over the world, anywhere people have a few pennies to buy a movie ticket. Do I make you happy? Every single day. Cut! Okay, Shirley, we're gonna do it one more time. Your father's been lying to you. He's a jewel thief. You feel terrible. Cry like your heart is breaking, okay? Okay, Mr. Hathaway, I'll try. Good. Quiet, please. Up to speed. Action. 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 <laughs> Grumpy, what on earth happened to your neck? Daddy, daddy. And you said honor bright to me. Cut. 
Hathaway. I'm sorry I can't cry, Mr. Hathaway. Don't worry about it. it. Happens to everybody. We'll try it again later. No, I'm a good crier in the morning, but I can't cry after lunchtime when my tummy's full. I'm awful sorry. We'll have to wait on your tummy then, won't we? That's a wrap. We'll get this tomorrow. I don't want to see any of those rushes. It's okay, sweetheart. It's very late. You should be sleeping. What if I can't cry tomorrow? You've cried in other movies. You can do it. And if you can't cry, I'm sure you'll think of some other way to play the scene. But Mr. Hathaway wants me to cry. You're a little girl, you're not a machine. And if he gives you a hard time, I'll just pop him over the head with my purse. <laughs> <laughs> now go to sleep. Slow down, Shirley. Do I don't want to be late, Mommy. I want to get there to do my thing. How's that tummy, Shirley? Not too full, I hope. No, Mr. Hathaway. I really feel like crying now. You ready? Okay. And action. Duty. dramatic gesture, Mr. Sheehan. And $5 million in cash is still a very impressive sight, even to a banker. But the red ink in your loan account with Chase Bank is still many, many times that. Shirley Temple is the greatest money maker the picture business has ever seen. And there's your proof. You mark my words. Chase Bank's investment in the Fox Picture Company will return a greater profit than you ever dreamed. I hope so, Mr. Sheehan. But large as they are, the profits from your Shirley Temple pictures are not large enough to offset the losses of your other pictures and your scheduled loan payments. You'll see a profit, trust me. I have to answer to a board of directors that's losing patience. I, uh, wouldn't leave that lying around. If you eat too much, ooh, ooh, you'll awake with a tummy ache on the good ship, lolly. It's a night trip into bed, you hop and dream away on the good ship, lollipop. Say, Shirley, what's that you've got there? Wouldn't be the latest Shirley Temple, though, would it? Why, yes, Dad, and it's the best one ever. One look, some kind soul has brought you a cup of delicious chocolate milk from Highlands Chocolate Syrup. Yes, Ted, and I'm very glad, because talking on the radio always makes me thirsty. <laughs> it's delicious. It's too sweet. And now Shirley will sing a song. No personal appearances. If they want to see Shirley, they buy a ticket to her movies. But Mr. Sheehan, she was offered $3,500 for one radio appearance. Paramount has made it... Listen to me, Mrs. Temple. If the audience gets bored with her and stops going to her pictures, how many appearances do you think you'll get? No one knows how long this thing will last. Not even me. 
The only thing we can do is keep her fresh as long as possible, because sooner or later the audience will get tired of it. And then we'll both have nothing. Gertrude, we stand to make $10,000 a week from her appearances, maybe more. And if Sheehan's right, and it shortens her career? So we'll make more in a week than she does in a year of acting. It's not about the money. Oh, Gert, you sound like a child. We're in the middle of a depression. Money matters. George, we have more money than we ever counted on. How much is enough? And when people stop buying tickets to her pictures, what will you say to Shirley? Never mind, sweetheart. We squeezed every last dollar out of you hawking dolls and toys. That's not fair, and you know it. I love her as much as you do. Then don't ruin it for her. I'd never do that. You're a good father. But you're a banker. I think we need help. I'll find us a lawyer. Oh, yes, James. If he doesn't agree, Shirley withdraws his services until we get a contract we like. She made four films at two studios in the first half of the year. Minor roles in six more, believe me. You've got the upper hand. I've read your proposal, Mr. Wright. A thousand a week, 250 for Mrs. Temple, seven option years. That sounds reasonable. And you want Shirley to receive a $35,000 bonus per picture? That money would be placed in a trust managed by Fox and not reported as current income. Agreed. Of course, we have a few stipulations of our own. Complete artistic control. You seat approval of all personal appearances, licenses, and endorsements to the studio. And you forego any further right to seek modification of the contract or salary increases, and you are not allowed an agent. And finally, she is not allowed in the commissary except on special occasions. No spoiling. Not at these prices. This is terrific. I don't know how to thank you enough. The trust account was genius. Shirley's provided for after she stops performing, if she ever does. It's great, isn't it? But do you think we gave up too much? You can't expect to make a rich deal like this without putting something on the table, Mrs. Temple. But the right to hire an agent or change her... You don't need an agent. You got a lawyer. And believe me, you're getting top dollar. Cut! Okay, that's... You were just terrific, Shirley. Thanks. Come to my bungalow after. I'll be finished my lesson and we can play. Shirley, Mrs. Temple, come with me. Hurry. What is it? It's a surprise you'll never guess. Come on. Amelia Earhart. Oh, my goodness. I'm a big fan of yours, Shirley. You must be her mother. I'm Amelia. It's an honor, <laughs> truly. Clammy's been telling me all about your new movie. It's all about flying. This is exactly like mine. Is it really? Seeing you will inspire girls to be pilots. This is how I study geography and history. It looks just like a flight map. Clammy and I pretend we have an airplane, and we follow you. What's it like, flying? Well... It's hard to describe. Think of something very exciting, but at the same time, very calm. When I'm over the ocean, there's only light and water. Nothing else exists. Aren't you ever scared? <laughs> Mostly when I'm on the ground. But I've learned to use my fear. It can take you to the place where you store your courage. I want to be a flyer like you, Miss Earhart. We're friends. Better call me Amelia. Amelia. Amelia! Yes, Shirley. Will you come and see me again? Just as soon as I can. That's a promise. Goodbye, Shirley. Goodbye, Amelia.
Are you serious, Mr. Sheehan? We're on a roll with Shirley, but we gotta keep it going. We gotta stay one step ahead. If this thing slows down, it's dead. There's no doubt he is a great dancer, but he's a Negro. He is? Son of a gun. He's the best tap dancer in the world. Can you picture it on screen? Shirley and Bojangles. Can he act? He's been in a few of those Negro pictures that RKO makes. You want to put Shirley Temple in a Negro picture? I want to put Bojangles in a Shirley Temple picture. It would cause a sensation. There's never been a black man dancing with a white girl on screen before. She's five years old. Six. OK, OK, she's five. Mr. Robinson, I'm Winfield Sheehan. I run the Fox Film Corporation. Yes, Mr. Sheehan. I know who you are. Shirley Temple, Mrs. Temple, meet Bo Jenkins. It's lovely to meet you. Pleasure. And an honor to make your acquaintance, Miss Temple. Same here, Mr. Jangles. <laughs> well, Bill Robbins is my real name. Bo Jangles is just my stage name. Can I call you Uncle Billy? I sure you can. Then I get to call you darling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, darling, now we're going to try this step, OK? Very nice. Kick. 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 <laughs> Kick. <laughs> I'm going to run. Tricky one. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Got to slow down there. Heel, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Good. One more time. And one, and two. Nice. Last step. Think we can do it from the top? I think so, Uncle Billy. Here we go, darling. Five, six, seven, eight. Kick. High. Kick. Hit. Run. Run up. Run up, down. Here we go. Cross. Nice. Once again, let's make sure we got it. Five, six, seven, and. Kick. Kick, run. Ha. Ah, I'm going to have to keep up with you, darling. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and, and. Here we go. Up, up, up. Down, down. Ha. Nice. Can we do that again? I'll get it. <laughs> Don't you want to take a rest, darling? Oh, no, Uncle Billy. This is too much fun. Well, let's do it, but we'll just do it a little slower, OK? Stand straight. Loosen those hands. That's it. Limp wrist. Now, in the shoulders. Loosen the shoulders. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Copacetic. Now, let's get your feet attached to your ears. <laughs> How can we do that? Well, every tap has a ring, crisp and clear. And you want to listen to every one of those taps because that's how you know how you're doing. You get it, darling? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. You've outdone yourself. It's budgeted at nearly a million. It'll be her biggest hit yet. If it tanks, you'll go under. The bank has left holding the bag. It won't tank, I swear on my mother. I love my mother. You won't be able to book this in the South. In the South? We'll just cut the dance number. That was your grandmother, dear. And that was her song you just sang. I know. My mother teached it to me. Teached isn't right, is it? No. Taught is correct. Taught, then. What was her name? Line? Her name was Amenthes. I've been in this business 30 years. Maybe you'd like to play both parts. Cut! Any more behavior like that, and I will remove Shirley from the set.
He didn't have to get mad. He was embarrassed. He thought you were making fun of him. He smells like an alcohol rub. Maybe he has a fever. He is a famous actor. You need to be respectful. Will you help me out, Shirley? I need you to go over and apologize. I didn't do anything wrong. I need you to say you're sorry. I helped him. That's all. I'm not sorry. Shirley, please. He's threatening to leave the set. Just apologize and let's get the scene. Shirley. I've ever met. In your whole life, such as it is. Can I have your autograph? Didn't your mother teach you to say please? Please? To my favor. Little niece, your uncle, Lion. Thank you, Uncle Lionel. I'll keep this always. Huh. You're a 50 year old midget, aren't you? Let's get it done. Three quick squeezes, what does that mean? We're coming to a hard part. Right. And no squeeze at all means we're doing really good. <laughs> and when I give you one long squeeze? Keep going, even if we miss a step because the camera is rolling. Oh, and that's my girl. Ready, Shirley? Are we ready, Uncle Billy? Right. right. Take you on upper stage. Ready. Everybody quiet. Camera. And speed. action. I don't want to go up there. Why, well, everybody's got to go upstairs if they want to go to bed. I don't want to. Look here. How about I show you a new way to go upstairs? How can there be a new way to go upstairs? Now, you just watch. I went to the market for to get some beef. And the beef so tough, and I couldn't get enough. I paid five dollars for a great big hog, and the hog so fat, and I couldn't get it back.
<laughs> All right. You ready? Here we go. Yeah. Oscar to a towering figure in the world of cinema, a giant amongst the troopers for magnificent achievements in 1934, especially in her groundbreaking hit, The Little Colonel, a special award for Shirley Temple. If you'll give me a kiss. Thank you very much, everybody. Can we go home now? <laughs> That's okay, little lady. You're not old enough to know what this is all about. You wouldn't say that if you worked with her. <laughs> Why is my Oscar smaller than everyone else's? They made it special just for you. You made more pictures than anyone else last year. Then shouldn't my Oscar be the biggest one? <laughs> That, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the awards. And now it's party time! How many years can she have left? Five pictures a year, there's still money to be made. I'll call Chase about Rothman in the morning. <laughs> Four acres. It's like a park. Uh, that goes in the master bedroom. Okay, Mrs. Temple. Are we sure we can afford all this? You married an investment banker. I've invested. Give it to me, Shirley. You're going to hurt someone. I'm just shooting paper balls. They don't hurt. Go upstairs and unpack something. What? Anything.
is so big and fat, he has a big mustache. He looks just like a walrus just before he takes his flesh. Animal crackers in my soup. Monkeys and rabbits loop the loop. Gosh, oh gee, but I have fun. Swallowing animals one by one. When they're inside me where it's dark, I walk around like no one's ark. I stuck my tummy like a goop with animal crackers in my soup. Oh my goodness. Fox has accepted our offer to merge with 20th Century Pictures. The new studio will be called 20th Century Fox. I'm the new chairman, and Mr. Zanuck is the new head of production. And Mr. Sheehan? He's moved on. I'm assuming his responsibilities. We're going to take very good care of Shirley, Mrs. Temple. Don't worry. I'm giving you a raise in salary and a driver. Send in Griff. Yes, sir. John Griffith. He's a retired policeman. I want your family to have a bodyguard. Is that really necessary? Your daughter's a public figure, Mrs. Temple. And that's true, Gertrude. Think of the Lindbergh baby. You don't think anyone would want to kidnap Shirley? Of course not. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. Brady, I'll see them in my business. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Shirley, this is Mr. Griffith. He is going to be your driver and bodyguard. Pleased to meet you, Shirley. You can call me Griff. What's a bodyguard do? Is it like gangbusters on the radio? Or like the shadow? Will you shoot any bad guys with your gun? Oh, I sure hope not. That would be exciting, though, if you did. A bodyguard's job is to make sure it doesn't get exciting. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Littlest rebel, poor little rich girl. Shirley was our biggest box office star again this year. I've been expecting a call from your lawyer to ask for more money. We have a contract with Fox, Mr. Zanuck. You can relax. We're not the sort to go back on a deal. Was that all you needed to know? That deal was signed before the merger. I can modify it, and I intend to. Well, our lawyer will need to hear about that. <laughs> There's nothing he can do. You said Shirley was bringing you a profit. She is. Then I don't understand. I'm raising her salary to $2,500 a week. You still want to call your lawyer? <laughs> Didn't I tell you I'd look out for Shirley? I have stopped believing what people tell me. Thank you, Mr. Zanuck. Thank you, Mrs. Temple. I am beginning to think that Daryl Zanuck might actually have a beating human heart underneath all that ice and snow. Yes, ma'am, you may be right. Shirley, you want to play the hiding game? Okay, Grip. Where's my blanket? Not a soul, Shirley. You win again. That is an excellent game, Griff. Shirley celebrates her seventh birthday with her little friends here on the Fox lot. She has received 135,000 presents from her friends and fans around the world. Wish they could be with you. Shirley? Yes, Mr. Zanuck? Is there anything you'd like to say to your fans around the world, all of whom are wishing you a happy birthday today? Yes, Mr. Zanuck. for coming to my birthday party. Would you like to cut your cake now, Shirley? Would I? <laughs> Uncle Billy's outside, Mr. Zanuck, with a race car. Have what you need? Yeah, you have. Looks like Bill's got your present, Shirley. Go ahead. Happy birthday, darling. <laughs> I don't know what like that. 
When you want to go, you just push down on that pedal. And when you want to stop, you just pull back up on that lever. All set. Yeah. I'll take you for a ride later, Mary Lou. too long, darling. It's rude to all your friends. They're not my friends, Uncle Billy. I don't know who they are. Except for Mary Lou. Mr. Zanuck invited them. Well, you gotta have guests at a party, darling. Then why didn't they invite Jack and Bear and the rest of the crew? It would have been more fun. Do you have any children, Uncle Billy? No, nah, Fanny and I haven't been blessed in that regard, darling. That's too bad, because they could have come to my birthday party. Lollipop is sweet, trick to a candy shop, and we all say, what a great day, cause it's Shirley's birthday. Ooh, we work hard every day, just to see you smile, takes the troubles away. And there you are, happy birthday, cause you're our star. Yeehaw, but your birthday comes just once a year, you get plenty candy and cake. Don't eat too much. Ooh, you'll awake with a tummy ache. Tummy ache. Watching now? Yes. Now that's the double deal. Did you see it that time? Can I try it? <laughs> yeah, sure. But it'll be a while before you can do it. Your hands aren't big enough yet to palm a card. Oh, you know, Griff, I do feel safer having you around. Yes, ma'am. That's the idea. You want to try that other one? Sure. She's growing. I know. Growing and depreciating. We'll keep the dress short, the baby doll. For how long? She's still America's favorite star, fourth year in a row. Clark Gable and Sonia Henney are very close behind, and Mickey Rooney is catching up. We want to keep her on top. We're going to have to grow with her. Put her with a good director. Give her something to do besides wink and grin. Let the public see she can act. You have someone in mind? John Ford? You're gonna convince John Ford to direct the Shirley Temple movie? I got a picture of Ford in a dress. making your way over the ocean to India. That's where your movie takes place. Can I draw it? Yeah. Miami to Brazil, and from Brazil to India. So while I'm really, really winky pretending, Amelia is really there. I'm gonna run them up, uh, up ahead. I've been learning about India, Mr. Ford. Did you know that India 
is half the size of the whole United States. We've got a long day. We'll start with your song in the sick bed. Yes, sir. You know your lyric? Yes, sir. I hope so. How do you want me to play it? It's not how. That man is dying. He is afraid to die. Now, you don't know anything about death, but maybe you know something about fear. Yes, sir. Then use it. Don't you let him die scared. You should be out of frame with that. Private Linky reporting, Sergeant. Will you please repeat the recruit is motto? Fear God, honor the Queen, shoot straight and keep clean. <laughs> Aye, lassie. Will you sing the song for me once more? Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot in days of old lang syne? For old lang syne, my dear, for old lang syne, we'll take a cup. Kindness yet for old lang syne. Shh. He's asleep. Mm. Cut. Our little talk was useful to you, I see. Oh, yes. Good. Seems you may be an actor after all. Let's set up for the next one. Moving on, guys. Next set up. I said, Hilda, if you like it that much, buy the damn thing. So how's the fish? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the company, too. The pump is primed. What do you want, Louis? I want Shirley Temple for a film. Let's not spoil the meal. Ask me for something else. I'll give you 10000 a week. What do you want, Shirley, for? You got ingenues all over the place. Uh, Deanna's gone to Universal, and the Garland girl's not right for it. Right for what? Frank Baum's book. You got the rights to The Wizard of Oz? You give me Shirley, I'll give you Clark Gable. <laughs> Sell me the rights to Oz. <laughs> Shirley is number one. Number one female. Gable beats her overall. Buy your hair. <sighs> you get Gable and Jean Harlow. I get Shirley. I've been trying to get the Wizard of Oz for Shirley. Shirley would be perfect for Dorothy. It's been our dream. Well, Mr. Sheehan tried, but he couldn't secure the rights. Neither could I. Louis B. Mayer beat me to the punch. I'm sorry. I wanted you to hear it from me. Who's going to be Dorothy? MGM has Judy Garland. It was good of you to come all the way out here. Yes. Thank you for trying, Mr. Zanuck. We appreciate it. Well, don't thank me yet. See, I think the girl and girl is all wrong for Dorothy. And I said so to Mr. Mayor. In fact, I bought him an expensive lunch, talked his ear off, and convinced him to drop Garland and cast Shirley. Now you can thank me. Thank you, Mr. Zanuck. Oh, I thank you. Crammy. What is it? What's wrong? Shirley, come here. Come and sit down. Amelia's plane is lost. I don't believe it. Shirley, there was a message from her mid-flight. She said that it was overcast and her fuel was running low. She never arrived at Howland Island. But they haven't found her. She could still be alive. She was flying across the ocean, Shirley. There was nowhere for her to land. Like in water. She can't be gone. She just can't. 
she's not gone. She's... She's in your heart and in your thoughts. Amelia did what she loved to do, and she was willing to take a risk to do it. So long as you remember her, she'll always be here. I'll never forget it. Not ever. I know. I know. Never. Sick? No. Tired? No. Sick and tired? I tell you what. You need a two-minute holiday. Mm -hmm. Try holding your breath the whole time. Now, it's going to seem a whole lot longer. Now, close your eyes. Mm -hmm. And think of a holiday. Any holiday you want. Easter. Not Christmas. Chocolate bunnies. <laughs> well, then Easter it is. Was that two minutes? How do you feel? Better. Oh, well, that was two minutes. Two is all it takes. Opening positions, please. Ah, that's Quiet. nice. You ready? Ready. Everybody quiet. Camera. Up to speed. Action. Jane Harlow. Yes, a terrible tragedy. She was part of the deal for Shirley. The deal? My agreement with Mayor it was Gable and Harlow for Shirley. Sorry, Mrs. Temple. It's off the table. I don't understand. I can't trade Shirley for Gable. It would give Mary the advantage. Shirley stays here. She doesn't go to MGM. She doesn't play Dorothy. That's right. You're serious. This isn't another one of those conversations where you spring a little surprise at the end. These things happen. I'm not responsible for Harlow's death. But you are responsible for Shirley. And I'm taking her career into account. Trading Shirley for Gable without Harlow makes people think she's not worth much. What people? I don't expect you to understand studio business, Mrs. Temple. Men like you and Louis B. Mayer like to play games. You want to beat him, so you treat my daughter like she's a chip in a poker match. Is that what you mean by studio business? I won't argue with you, Mrs. Temple. I realize you're upset. Yes, I am. I understand. No need to apologize. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm late for a production meeting. You remember how we talked about poor Jean Harlow? Yes. Well, she was supposed to come work at Fox so you could work at MGM. But now, you have to stay at Fox. You can't be Dorothy. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's not that they didn't want you, but you have a contract at Fox. It's just studio business. Mr. Zanuck wanted you to know that. He was so sorry. He couldn't even find the words to say how sorry he was. I know, it's an awful disappointment. You don't get your dream. My dream? For me to be Dorothy. Well, I thought you wanted to be Dorothy. That's the only reason it was my dream. I did want it. To make you happy. Well, listen to us. Two sillies. I wanted it for you, you wanted it for me. You really don't care? Not if you don't. Not if you don't. 
since we both don't, let's forget it and have a root beer float. <laughs> a root beer float it is. <laughs> disappointed, Mr. Zanuck. We were all disappointed when Shirley wasn't able to play Dorothy. But I've got something for her that will outgross us. I bought you a classic play. What classic play is that, Mr. Zanuck? Ever heard of the Bluebird? The Maeterlinck story? I've got the film rights. It's a guaranteed smash. The longest stage show in the history of the American theater. Six acts, 133 speaking roles, and Shirley will be the star. Excited? Are we spending too much? You always get this way before a picture comes out. Now stop worrying. There's just so much riding on Bluebird. Profits were down on her last picture. And you know the ideal toy company in New York where they make the Shirley Temple dolls? Yeah, sure. I heard they turned off Shirley's billboard. Sales are down this year, but this picture will change all that. Would Zanuck take his reputation if he had doubts? He knows what he's doing. If he knew what he was doing, he wouldn't have taken her out of Oz. He'd have had a contract player with a box office hit? Bluebird will be bigger than Oz. And surely, she'll be the only 11-year-old with two Oscars. 12 years old. You know she's 12. They didn't like it, did they? No, they didn't. But it's just one picture, Shirley. You've made more movies in the last six years than on most actors make in a whole lifetime. And people have loved you in them. That's what you have to remember. Bluebird lays an egg. Most of the reviews just think that Fox was trying to outdo Oz and failed. People will still come to my pictures, even if they didn't like this one. Won't they? Just because the critics don't like it doesn't mean the public won't. The public will always love you, Shirley. And it's never been about your movies. It's always been about you. They're firing you? Reassigning me to other duties. What's wrong with Zanuck? Shirley still needs protection. I mean, you know the crazy people we've had to deal with. You said the studio couldn't justify the expense anymore. Well, we will miss you. You're part of our family, Griff. The pleasure was all mine, Mrs. T. I mean that. I can do double dealing now, Griff. Wanna see? My cab will be here any minute, Shirley. <laughs> Pretty good. You got a real knack for it. You weren't going to say goodbye, were you, Griff? I'm not very good at it. I don't want you to go. Listen, Shirley. You got something. Something more precious than all the money and all the fame in the world. What is it? You got a family that loves you. So do you. The final item of business between us is the dispersal of the trust fund, consisting of Shirley's deferred income over her years at Fox. The gross amount was 300000 This check is for 125000 175 was advanced to Mr. Temple. I took it as deferred income. It amounted to an interest-free loan. I also want to remind you that Uncle Sam gets 120000 With the dissolution of the trust, the full amount is now taxable. spent more than we earned. I took the advances to square off accounts at the end of each year. It kept us debt-free without incurring interest. There was no risk involved. I just 
didn't think it was going to end. I really didn't. None of us did, I suppose. I don't know what to say to you. Are we going to be all right? We have assets. If we're careful, we might be able to keep the house. Will we have enough to send her to a good private school? We'll sacrifice whatever's necessary, that's all. say goodbye yet. We'll both start crying and then nothing will get done. You know what I was remembering just now? The day Mr. Sheehan brought you in here and you had a slingshot in your pocket and I thought, uh-oh, this one's trouble. <laughs> but I like you. Oh, Clammy. <laughs> See, what did I tell you? I just hate saying goodbye. It's a pretty dull life that never changes. Graduation time, time to move on. I'm sad, but I'm excited for you, too. A real school with classes and games and people your own age. You know what Amelia would say? She'd say it was a great adventure. That's my girl. All done? Just about. Thank you, Clammy. For everything. Thank you. Bye. See you soon. See you soon. Let's go. Bye. doing here? Did you have to honk the horn? I was at the grocery. I thought you'd like a ride home. I'm staying after school. I'm on the decorating committee for the dance. What about dinner? I'll eat later. Bye. Is she ready to go? Almost. She's fixing her hair. 56 pin girls. <laughs> I remember when she and told her not to grow. Should I drive her or should we both go? Better if you take her. It'll embarrass her if we make a big thing out of it. First dance. It is a big thing. Wait till you see her in that dress. She looks like such a lady. You've done a great job, Gertrude. She's a terrific kid. Of course, I'm the one who got my tonsils out. <laughs> lock it or no lock it? Thanks. Oh. 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 
Got anybody in the war? My brothers, both of them. I'm planning to enlist as soon as I'm 18, in the Air Force. My dad's a test pilot at Douglas Aircraft. Did he know Amelia Earhart? I think he met her once. Boy, it's hot in here. Probably cooler outside. This is my favorite spot on campus. You're beautiful, Shirley. Don't be mad, okay? I couldn't help it. I'm not mad, it's just that... Well, your aim was a little off. How was the dance? Oh, it's amazing. I met a boy and, well, he kissed me. <gasps> and you let him? Almost 14 years old, Mother. Actually, my darling, you're almost 15. What are you talking about? Fox faked your birth certificate. She wanted you to be four, not five. What? You never told me? When you were little, it just didn't seem to make a difference. Fifteen. You don't miss acting at all, do you? I haven't really thought about it much. Well, the reason I ask is because you got a phone call from David O. Selznick. He wants to give you a part. I'm really happy the way things are right now. I like being in school. I am perfectly happy if you want to finish school, and go to college and be whatever you want. Don't do it for me. And then again, it is David of Selznick. It's based on a series of letters written by a woman to her husband in the war. There's a girl in it, a daughter. Her name is Brick. She's 14 and she's uh, a tomboy. She's shrewd, lonely. She misses a father and she's determined to help in the war effort, but she's all mixed up. It's called Since You Went Away. And you're my first choice for the role, Shirley. It's a dramatic role. Oh, yeah. I haven't forgotten what a talented actress you are. I've been going to school, Mr. Selznick. I haven't been acting, just having fun. You have a gift, Shirley. Well, that kind of thing, it doesn't just expire. I've got an all-star cast here. I've got Claudette Colbert. I've got Joseph Cotton, Lionel Barrymore, Hattie McDaniel, Jennifer Jones, and I want Shirley Temple. What do you say? Yes. It's wonderful. <laughs> a, a year's contract at 2200 a week. Thank you, Mr. Selznick. It's a real girl, and it's a film about the war. If it was any other picture or any other producer, I wouldn't do it. Then you said yes? We shook hands on the deal. Doesn't matter. You're a minor. You'll still have to negotiate with Mr. Wright. It does matter. I shook hands on it. One year at 2200 a week. That's not a bad offer. I thought it was very generous, all things considered. What's the matter, Mom? You don't need us anymore. I do need you. I need you to believe in me the way you always have. I'll never stop needing that, not ever. If something may upset you, don't ever let it get you down. Don't wear a frown If fortune should forsake you Don't ever let it make you sigh Keep shooting high Be a crooner, not a crooner Never kick Here's a spelling lesson that will do the trick You 